Uh, my name is Damla Tipolo and I am doing my uh, honors year in industrial design. I would say currently I identify as non-binary. I use they, them pronouns. That has kind of evolved very recently. I would say over the past one, one and a half years, I've come into what that means for me. And I think as someone who presents themselves in a very feminine way, that does not get read or does not get flagged by other people. But for me, what that has meant has been just understanding that that identity can coexist with a feminine gender expression. In industrial design, there's a lot of people that are creative. With that comes along people who are very different and diverse. That being said, I think there needs to be progress made in order to make the community of people who do industrial design a little bit more diverse and more understanding. I'm actually a dual citizens, both of Australia and of Turkey. Being bilingual, being from a different culture than the Australian culture, it has a really big impact on how I approach design. I'm influenced by Turkish field of design and creativity, as well as just the majority of Europe that feels kind of like a mishmash of a lot of things coming and going. In 2021, when I was able to be a part of the creative team that did UNSW's Mardi Gras flow, that was really positive for me because I was involved in the creative process of thinking up of what that would look like and then also in the making process and organizing people along this project and then also being a part of the float itself was very pleasurable because it was just very giddy and happy and yeah I would just say that was like a stellar part of my UNSW experience. <laughs> To the allies in the ADA community in UNSW, I would say um, create space for people to express their identities and express what is authentic to them because I think even just creating that space allows for people to feel comfortable enough to share. 